Good morning, Ice Cream Ninja Nation. This is your big homie, Fat Boy Jim, with another All In Ice Cream Ninja Nation update. Little news flash here. There's old Mr. Bomb Pop. We all love Bomb Pop. The low mileage Silverado. Well, we're getting ready to uh, do some video on rockers, cab corners, quarters and rear bumper it's only got like 90,000 original uh, we're putting it together for a, a very special little ninja that's just starting to drive so uh we got a call last night uh on a hot deal had to go at midnight to get it one of them midnight ninja missions and uh we really came across god that bumper is horrible horrible uh but we uh we came across uh there's the old faithful cutlass we came across a hot deal coming out of huntsville ohio and uh we just had to have it so me and ninja nick your big homie fat boy jim came up with the hulk how about that folks a 1990 z28 now keep in mind fat boy jim is a camaro guy i've owned 10 million and five of these camaros now pay attention i'm gonna walk you through this uh notice it has the irock hood 24s the donk a donk It has the square shifter, which would indicate a 5.7. It also has, if anybody remembers, wait a minute, okay. It has the round gauges, folks but uh 90 or 91 had a gauge cluster a one piece gauge cluster it has all the markings of electric windows but it has crank ups uh another giveaway for the uh 57 z28 i rocks was the gauges the hood certain emblems which it does not have and i don't see where it has been the dash don't appear to have been changed let's do a little walk around this thing is solid uh we've either got a bad dt cable which won't allow it to shift or we need a transmission but it does go in first it does go in reverse but it won't shift out of gear and i just ain't had a chance yet to really take a uh, close look at it i try to do this one-handed folks bam how about that 355.7 tpi tune port injection notice the distributor cover is there that is one of the first things that goes missing on these tpi motors uh we have some more parts the rest of the interior all in the garage i uh, couldn't help myself start working a little bit on it last night it does run uh i left the keys at the garage we'll do a video later on that but uh, we just wanted to give you guys a little quick update. Nice tires, nice rims. Another thing, drum brakes in the back. Now leave it in the comments and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you Camaro guys. But uh, I was pretty sure all IROCs, especially the 5.7 the uh, Mustang Killer, uh, which, by the way, little little uh camaro history from 85 to 90 the irock was created uh to compete with 
uh, the Mustangs on the street. Not actually created for the Mustangs and specifically, but always there's the Mustang Z28 feud. Uh, the Fox bodies, 85 to 88, were kicking our butts, okay, with the little 5.0 TPI motor and MI rocks and Zs. Uh, so 1988, Chevy decided, and some mad scientists in a back room with no light, uh, decided to build a 5.7 Mustang Killer. Okay, and we started putting it on the Fox bodies, at least the factory ones. You know how it is, guys, fill in the blanks. Uh, but yeah, that kind of throwed me for a loop. I am going to go ahead out on a limb here and make a bold opinion and say these are not the original doors. Uh, obviously, this thing has been customized.